Hi, Shalom. First and foremost, Kohala, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahushai, Bashim, Rakwak, Wadash. Double honors to the head apostles of Great Millstone and Ruel. Peace and salutations to the Yakim out there on the highways and byways, noise in this road abroad all around the world. So I want to talk about the um this documentary. Show y'all brothers heard the uh, elder apostle to all talk about it. I recommend that brothers see it. And I, I sure do recommend that brothers see it because um, it gives a lot of intake on, you know, on how, you know, athletes, you know, or what they're eating or how they perform of what they're eating, you know. Got the doctors, researchers there, you know, that gives their analog analogous, you know. And that gives their take on how to eat and what not to eat, you know. And studies showed on that on on that TV um on that program that you know athletes that ate you know like a fat based food such as meat compared to a plant based diet plant based food you know they showed the difference between them eating um a meat based um food diet. And then a plant-based diet. So pretty much when the athletes ate the um the meat-based diet, you know, it showed that, you know, that their blood was like, you know, all greasy and all all messed up. And things like greasy and and um, you know, all the glog and stuff like that. So they couldn't really see their blood, you know. And they showed them the results of the plant based meal that they ate and it showed that their their blood was clear you know it was a lot flowable you know it was decent and it was clean and pretty much the most important thing is blood flow through the body that's what gives you the energy that's what motivates your body is blood flow so when you're constantly eating you know these fat-based diets these like you know fried chickens you know meat you know, steak, you know, cheeseburgers, hamburgers, you know, all this stuff that has, has a lot of fat in it, you know, and these ch chickens, these fried chickens, you know, what it shows is that, you know, you're putting that in your body, and what it is, it's getting into your bloodstream, you know, and the problem is, with all that grease and all that stuff, it, it clogs your arteries, you know, so the blood is not flowing properly through the body. So that's why, you know, people are feeling, you know, tired or weak, you know. They don't want to do nothing after eating a meal like that because the problem is, is blood flow. The blood is not flowing due to the um, amount of grease and the amount of fat that's in, in the blood that's clogging up the arteries, you know. So you want to make sure that the blood is flowing properly within the body, you know. You want to make sure that blood flow is flowing properly, you know. Because the most important thing of the body is blood flow, you know, and what could help that and what could help the blood flow more um, smoothly and more perfectively, you know, it's pretty much a plant based diet, you know, food based diet and like plant based diet, you know, and that's what helps the blood and that's what gives you the most energy because the blood is flowing more properly. And also, too, there is there is a law within the scripture to say that we're not supposed to be eating no matter no fat, you know. Um, let me just get the law real quick. So this is the book of Leviticus, ch chapter three. Verse 17. And it reads, it shall be. Particular. Statues for your generations throughout all your dwelling, that ye neither that ye eat neither fat nor blood. You see, because scripture says that you you neither eat no fat or blood. And what is that fat? That fat <laughs> is from the fat from the from these animals. You know that are that are being produced. You know. It's, such as f fried chicken, you know, these hamburgers, you know, steak, you know, all the matter of fat from these um, products, you know, and also dairy too, you know, from these products.
the thing is, is it will clog your arteries. It will slow the blood flow of the body down. So that's why when people eat a meal like that, you know, they feel all tired and don't want to do anything. And they want to go to sleep. Why? Because their system, all that blood is, is slowing down, you know. Because I I did a um because I I tried that too because um we we all got to start somewhere you know I I went without a day without eating meat and I could feel the difference you know I I totally felt the difference between a day that I ate meat you know or fried chicken I totally felt the difference I totally felt the difference between the both you know when I ate the meat I was tired I was weak I didn't want to do anything I want to just go to sleep. Compared to, I just ate, you know, a plant-based diet. You know, I didn't eat no meat, you know. I ate no meat at all, and I felt energized. I felt, you know, I felt energy, you know. I felt more active. I felt more <laughs> awake, more aware, you know. That's because the blood was flowing properly through the body, you know. That's because that blood flow, you know. It's, it's important that you have blood flow through the body. Because without blood flow, you know, your body's not going to function properly, you know. So it's important that, you know, we eat these plant-based foods, you know. Not to say that we're going to be perfect at it, you know. Not to say that we're just going to get this overnight. But it takes practice, you know. You just got to practice, you know, not eating meat, you know. You could say, you know, I'm not going to go, I'm not going to eat, you know, meat for this day, you know. And then you just do it the next day, you know, you just practice within it until you get used to it. You know, that's how you merge into this. But that's why that's why it's important that we take care of our bodies, you know, especially when we got to do this work, too, because, you know, we need our energy and we need that blood flow flowing through the body when we're out there. You know, not eating, you know, meat, you know, then you don't want to <laughs> then you ain't going to want to do the work. You ain't going to want to. You know, be out there, you know, doing this work because it it also takes discipline, too. And we got to be more disciplined in how we eat and how we take care of ourselves, you know. So and also, too, what, what could also help with blood flow is garlic. You know, I found that garlic could also help the blood flow more properly and more um, and more easily through the body. You know, through the antioxidants that's within the um within the garlic, you know. So eating a piece of garlic or just waking up in the morning, you know, just cutting it up into little pieces, you know, putting it in your mouth and drinking it with a glass of water. That that's also good, you know, within the morning. You know, to help that blood flow. And also too in the night too, you know, before you go to bed. It could also help blood flow. You know, do the same thing that you did in the morning. Cut the um, garlic up into little pieces. Put it in your mouth and drink it with a glass of water. That would also be good, too. Because it would help the blood flow through the body more more um, easily. Without just eating grease and, you know, for dinner you eat a piece of chicken or, you know, meat. Then totally clog your arteries and things like that. Now the blood is not flowing properly, you know. That's the number one thing now. A lot of people are having with, you know, with within their body, you know, with these diseases like heart disease, you know, you know, their arteries being clogged up, you know, heart attacks, strokes, you know, that's because they're constantly eating fat, you know, which is in the law that I just read right here. You're not we are not supposed to be eating no, no fat, no blood, you know. So we're not supposed to be eating that on a daily basis. You know, we're supposed to be taking in plant based food. Foods that's gonna help us in the long run, and pretty much on that um on that TV on that um program you had a sixty there was a sixty sixty nine year old Jake you know, and pretty much he totally looked like if he was in his late um he looked like if he was in his mid um mid forties or um early forties you know uh, late thirties in this. And he's a 30 year old um, and he's a 69 year old Jake, almost 70. And pretty much what he said was he has grandkids and he said his grandkids can't even keep up with them. You know, pretty much pretty much when he stopped giving up, when he gave up eating meat. 
and now he's full of energy, you know, and pretty much he said that his grandkids can't even keep up with him, you know, <laughs> so that goes to show you how much important it is, you know, to change your diet, and to, and we got to be more conscious on how we eat, you know, so with that, you know, I hope this lesson was edifying, I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rekwakadosh, double honesty, that apostles of great most on that rule well, and peace and salutations to the Yakim out there on the highways and byways, those in this road abroad all around the world. And with that, I want to say Shalom.